Well, shake up for the city of Oakland. Mayor Libby Schaff is set to begin her second term with a very different city council. My Beats Chris Ayers has a breakdown of the changes. This may be the biggest shakeup on the Oakland City Council in years. Three newcomers voted in, and one 16 year veteran of the council defeated decisively. There is a hunger for change, and we're ready to bring that change. This is the man behind the biggest upset on Oakland City Council. Businessman Lauren Taylor beat Desley Brooks at the ballot box, ending her 16 year term as the District 6 Council member. Brooks's final term has been mired in scandal. A lawsuit against her over an assault on former Black Panther Elaine Brown cost the city of Oakland more than $2 million. She's also been sued for physical and verbal abuse on an aide. In April, Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff memorably called for Brooks's ouster. I think Oakland would be tremendously served by having that individual replaced on the city council. Brooks isn't the only council member who will be replaced. Shang Tao will take on the District 4 council seat. Annie Campbell Washington announced she would vacate earlier this year. In another upset, District 2 incumbent Abel Guillen fell to this community organizer. Congratulations, so Nikki. Yeah. Thank Woo. you. <laughs> Nikki Fortunato Bass. Voters are looking for change and hope. Change is what they'll get on a council with three new faces, but whether voters have hope is a different story. Voter turnout declined in Oakland this election, despite record-breaking turnout across the county. Many District 6 residents have given up on voting, have given up on the city to solve their problems. Now, I'm excited that District 6 has put their faith in me. There could be more changes coming to the Oakland City Council in the next couple of years. Council member Larry Reed has said this will be his last term. In Oakland, Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.